Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I'm back with another um, video sharing ideas for your junk journal idea book. So if you've been crafting with me, you know we've been coming up with different ideas of ways to um, embellish our junk journal pages, different pockets, tuck spots, uh, how to add a page, expand a page, use envelopes, all kinds of things. And so today I've got a couple of ideas I'm going to share for you. I realized I had skipped some of my pages. So we're going to turn here and do some of these ideas on these two pages. Um, the first one that I have for you is um, how we can incorporate scrappy pads um, onto pages and, and make it a little different. I love having these and sometimes when I'm trying to clean up my desk or go through some of my scraps, I'll just mass make a whole bunch of scrap pads. And so we will um, make one together really quick. Um, I was gonna do this one with an orientation that's a little horizontal because I've got an idea of what I want to do with it. So um, I'm just going to grab some papers while we're talking and they don't have to be the same size. And in fact, it's kind of fun, I think, when they're a little different and um, that way when you're you're going through them and you're looking at them, you're like, oh, there's all kinds of things I could do with these papers. Okay, and then sometimes I have a lot of strips of coffee and tea dyed paper um, because I, oh, look at the pumpkins. I don't know where I'm gonna put those up. Gosh, those are cute. I kind of hate hiding them, but we'll put them there. Um, you know, a lot of times, depending on the size journal I'm making, I may cut my paper down and I end up with a bunch of these off cuts. So there's different ways to make scrap pads. I tend to get my paper together, whichever orientation I'm gonna do, and I add a few staples, knowing I'm then just gonna tear off the pages as I wanna use them or, you know, cut them out of there. So, you know. How, how simple is that? Now, I do like to embellish some of mine. Oh, I forgot that I also, this one I put even a piece of this wider lace, and I thought I would set a piece out, but doesn't matter. You can staple the lace on too. A lot of times I like to do some type of topper, and I'm just looking for a scrap that I want to use. I am in no danger of running out of scrap paper or extras, but I will often just find a piece and fold it over to just make a cute topper like that, to just make the pad look a little more finished. It's not necessary, depending on what you're gonna do with them. A lot of times I'll just stick them in a pocket in a journal so that when I'm ready to work on a page or do something, I have some extra papers to work with or play with. Um, but today, I'm gonna to show you how you can even just incorporate them into a layout on a page and then have, and it can still be a fun interactive element, can be a way later whoever has the journal could say, oh, I need a flower image, and they could just, you know, fussy cut that out, or oh, I want a pumpkin, right? Um, or something to make another pocket with. So, a couple of ideas of how we can do a page layout and with with the scrap with the scrappy pads. So the first one I'm going to do is we're going to actually the one I already had made. We're going to install it on the page with this it's like a little cover. So then when you open this up, we're also going to have a pocket here on this page and then you have your scrappy pad. And when you get to this page in your journal, you may or may not, you know, see it. Doesn't quite go with the ballerina and my fall theme papers, but it's all right. This is just my idea book. So all I did here was, and I got this ready ahead of time, but I just looked at the size that my scrap pad ended up being, and this one ended up being almost three and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I wanted my little cover here to... Um, be big enough to kind of hide hide it just a little 
and I could, you know, add more to it. But we are going to, um, so my paper ended up being four by a little more than five and a quarter. And then I just uh, folded it over a half an inch. Hmm. Three quarters of an inch. I did about three quarters of an inch, and we're gonna stick it down. So the way I'm doing this one is I'm gonna glue this flap down first. Decide where on the page I want it. I'm gonna put it kind of in the middle. And now we can probably just attach this by the topper so that that last page is loose, but if you're worried about it, just glue the whole last page down, not a problem. And I'm just gonna stick it in here. Okay, now if we want it to close, we could add a closure. I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. We'll see how we do as we go. Now on this side, I had already cut a piece of paper because it wasn't printed on both sides. Again, idea book. Things don't have to be perfect. And then I've got to decide, do I want this pocket to load at the top or do I want it to be like a side tuck? If we do a side tuck, you know, we're a little limited about how big of an item we put on, on the side. Why don't we make it a top? But again, your choice. I am gonna put a little notch at the top just to remind me that this is a fabulous pocket. And we'll just glue it down. I love having surprises like this throughout my journals. Um, and a lot of my journals I do give as gifts or sell. And I like the idea that whoever ends up with them in the future, like I said, will have some supplies to work with and some things that they might enjoy. Okay. And didn't fit perfectly, but it's all right. Let's see if we can put something down in that pocket. Um, if I cut these journaling cards, um, like I'm supposed to, they're gonna disappear down inside that pocket. So let me see what it looks like. I may just fold them over. Maybe like this. and stick it in. And it's kind of like the idea of the scrappy pad. We'll have something we can work with later. There. Cute. I love it. Okay, so that's super simple. You know, we could do like a trifold one where the scrappy pad's in the middle and it opens up both ways. You know, there's all kinds of things we can do. The other idea though I had was for this scrap pad we just did together. And I want to show you a way. I was thinking about doing um like when you have a paper you want to use and you want to see all of it, but it's too wide and you don't want it hanging out of your journal, how you can do, I don't know if this is called a gusset or or what's it what it's called. But I love this paper. It's part of um, like this one. It, it, I think that was the other half of the paper. Um, this is a freebie from a long time ago from Victoria Designs. I've been kind of going through. I printed a bunch of them and not used them. Um, but I'm going to install this page as kind of like a gusset extend a page. And then when it opens this way, I'm going to have our scrappy pad right there. So again, you, you it, it's gonna hang off just a little bit or I can, you know, just cut it off <laughs> so that it doesn't do that. Let's see, there we go, now it fits in there. So let's um, give you a few measurements. Again, yours will depend on the size of your idea book or your journal and what you're trying to do. But this piece of paper is eight inches wide. And if you want to know, it's five and a quarter inches tall. So eight inches wide. And I folded at one and three quarter inches and at two and a half, okay, to get that gusset. So one and three quarters, two and a half from this edge, folded it over. Now on this large flap here, 
is where I'm going to put my lovely scrap pad we just made. All right, and I wanna be careful not to get it too close to the fold. So we're just gonna add some glue here. Now this is gonna add some chunk, some heft <laughs> to my junk journal. And if that's concerning you, you could make your scrap pad skinnier. You could skip them, you know, if you really, if, if this isn't, if you don't want your journal to end up too chunky. But I think for the idea book, it's nice to have these because then we can see the whole page. It, it's kind of a fun interactive element, but then a big surprise when you flip it over this way. If you don't want to see the white, if you're doing this in an actual journal, print on both sides or collage over that, ink it, you know, come up with a solution. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just gonna install it right here. I'm going not quite to the um, to the center and the spine because I want it to still close okay, but it fits in there really nicely. Look at that. Oh, surprise, there's a scrap pad. All right, I like it. It's a little different. And you could do more with this too. If you wanted to add a pocket, if you wanted to decorate it, you could add a tab on there. There's all kinds of things you could do. But I like it. I think it's cute. Okay, so those were two ideas. And then staying, and I think this page doesn't have anything yet, except a collage. Let's see how chunky that made it. It's getting there. And I didn't pick a journal with a very thick spine, so we may have issues before too long. We'll see. Um, let me find where I was. And so again, I was going to look at, you know, when you have some of these larger pages, but maybe you want to use them in your journal. And we've done extended pages, but this idea of that kind of just... I don't know, again, if that's the right word, but it kind of an accordion fold. This is a cardstock weight paper. So it's a little challenging, but I'm going to fold it neatly just by lining up the edges. There we go. And I'm not sure if I cut it evenly when I first trimmed it out, but let's see what happens and then how you might use something like this. Yeah, really cute, right? Depends on which way you wanna do it. So now we can install this on our page by adding glue on three sides. Now we have a tuck spot here. We open it up, we could have things here. This opens this way and we have that pocket, that side load tuck spot. So that is how I am going to install it. I'm holding it with my thumb here. I do not want glue on this edge. I want glue on these three edges. And this is just a digital paper and I didn't show you the measurements, but by the time you cut off the white trim, I'm guessing this is 10 inches, 10 and a half inches by eight inches, okay? And we are going to just stick it down. Give the glue a chance to adhere. And with my journal being a little chunky on this side, it's a little hard. <laughs> to glue it down, but hopefully you get the idea. All right. So again, it's almost like we've extended the page and now we have this here. And again, it's lifting up a little bit, but I just need to let it, just need to let it stick and everything will be fine. Now I think on this side, again, journaling, um, we could have a tall skinny pocket if we wanted to. We could do a pocket here. But we definitely, once this sticks, we have this fabulous side load pocket. Okay. Very nice. Let me see if I have anything um, to put in there. 
yeah, just so that I kind of remember what's there. Um, I probably would want, I, I know me, I would want to start adding some some additional uh, pockets and fun, fun interactive elements on here. I'm going to just glue some of the coordinating papers that came off of that other freebie I was showing you to kind of spark my creativity when I'm looking at this idea. Whenever I put just a little strip of paper at the top, I think, ooh, journaling. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> and I think this would look cute with a tab on it. So let's see if any of these papers would make a cute tab. She's cute, isn't she? I'm folding it kind of strangely because I want her to be the focal point of the tab. So I'm gonna tear it right there and we're gonna put her on right here. Yep, and she's gonna be cute. All right, so all this is, is it's probably a rectangle. Let's see, it ended up being two by one and three quarters and I, Folded it at about, not quite one and a quarter, okay? Just to make my own little special tab for this pullout. All right. Cute. And not that you're not gonna think, oh, what's happening here? It definitely makes your eye goes there and you think, oh, I need to explore that. I need to see what's happening. All right. Um, again, if you want to keep going, add pockets, um, add pretty papers, whatever. You've got this lovely tuck spot. Possibilities are endless. All right, so those were my ideas for today. How to do incorporate some scrappy pads into a layout. Oops, what happened to my card? Made a pocket here. This one opens this way and like this. And you can use this design for lots of different things like we did here. All right, I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're not already. Subscribe to my channel so you'll get all the alerts when I release new content. I've been on a roll lately and able to get quite a few videos out. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed that. So everything's good in the sparkle world. I'll take care. Bye.